Today I'm going to show you how I batched out four of these cheese slicing boards to give out as Christmas gifts this year. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim these boards down to 24 inches in length, join them on one end, and take them over to the table saw and rip them to width. So now that we have everything cut to width, we can go ahead and lay out our pattern. So I'm gonna do a border of walnut, followed by two pieces of hard maple, the center being a nice stripe of purple heart. So with these cheese slicers, I'm gonna be using Tight Bond 3 to glue this up because it is waterproof and food safe. All right, so now that the glue's dry, we're gonna go ahead and take these out of clamps and go over to the planer and get these flattened out. So now that we got both of them down to the final thickness, we can go ahead and cut them to length. I'm going to be doing that on the miter saw. Now you could use a crosscut sled on a table saw if you'd like, doesn't matter. And then once we do that, we can go ahead over to the router table and I'm going to do a simple 1 8 inch roundover bit just to give it a nice clean look. I'm going to be using these Wood River cheese slicer kits, the large version from Woodcraft. And it's going to require me to drill a hole five inches from the side with the handle. And how I'm going to do that is I bought a very large quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to be using my task doweling jig. And I went ahead and marked the drill bit with tape to know exactly how deep I need to drill this hole. Now what we need to do is cut a slot on the top of all of the boards. So we need the slot to go deep enough to where it passes the hole that we've already drilled but it doesn't go all the way through the board. So I've added these small spacers on my sled. That way it lifts one edge of the board, creating a slanted cut. All right, so I'm gonna cut the slots three inches from the edge of the board, and we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this. I'm gonna go from 150, 180, 220, and then I'm gonna go around all the edges and smooth everything out from the router just by hand using 220 grit. Now that everything's sanded, it's time to add some finish. For these cheese slicers, I'm going to be using cutting board oil. You could just use mineral spirits or any kind of board butter, just whatever your preference is. So now it's time to add the hardware, and it's quite simple. You're going to take the metal bar and place it in the hole, and as it's going through the slot, you're going to add the other end of the string and push it all the way in. And then you're going to add the handle to the bar, and then as the string lines up with your slot, and then insert your set screw. All right, that wraps it up on this one. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And hit subscribe if you want to see my future videos. And while you're at it, I have a few videos queued up here. So head over to one of those, and I'll see you in the next one.